everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are a new person on this channel i am Kobo Isaze welcoming you to my channel today and please don't forget to subscribe click the notification button and always like the video at the end of you watching this video and don't forget to comment on the video now today i want to talk to us about something that actually bothered my mind over a period of time and i was able to actually work on it and i'm still working on it till now because every day new things keep popping up and that is the mind the mind i want to talk about the mind just a little bit the battles that occur in the mind now we must understand that the mind is a battleground it's a place of war words thoughts range through the mind on per second basis and i think the scientists will tell you that over millions of thoughts run through the mind per second i mean per second and at the end of the day less than one percent is able to come through to our consciousness for us to actually analyze it but the truth is both the consciousness and the subconscious is what rules the person because at the end of the day we're a product of our thoughts we're a product of what goes on in our mind and most times we become who we think about we become what we expect ourselves to be because what goes through your mind is what forms your thoughts what forms your thoughts is that thing that begins to form your habits and your character over a period of time so basically what are these battles that are in our mind what are these things we deal with on a daily basis if you've ever been in a situation where you had to worry where you had to be hot of course we've talked about hot before in our previous videos if you've ever been in a place where you are confused these are battles that happen on a daily basis in the mind of the human you know you want to get a job you are thinking what's the best job for me to get you're thinking no oh, i want to get married what kind of woman should i get married to what kind of man should i get married to you are saying oh i want my marriage to work you are thinking every piece of many that passes by we are always thinking of something we are always contemplating something we are always trying to achieve something and all of this thing plays in the mind and someone will ask me how do i win the battles of my mind how do i overcome the troubles the worries the confusion that goes on on a daily basis in my mind trust me the battles that go on in your mind the mind is so so big so wide that it can take in so much information but the truth is the best way to begin to win the battles of the mind the best way for you to begin to overcome the things that troubles you the things that war against your mind first and foremost is to relax yes relax yourself because when you are in a haste to take decisions from those battles you end up making a lot of mistakes People have made a lot of mistakes that they are still living to regret today. Just at the spur of the moment, oh, there was something that troubled me and I decided to react immediately. Do you understand? Somebody just offended me. Man, I entered the bus and the bus driver just slapped me because I did something and I was quick to react because my mind told me, what's the meaning of that? Why take that? Give it back to the person. And I did it. And years later, I'm looking at myself and I'm asking myself, why did I react like that? Why did I do that? The mind was fast on you and you responded the minute the mind told you, do it. And you just went ahead and you did it. So most times you see people saying, oh, they are under pressure oh, to get married. People are saying, no, why is this single? Oh, you should get married. You're, all your mates are married. Oh, all your mates are having their kids and you are still single. And then every day you sit back, your mind is ringing, is worrying. You're asking yourself, when is my husband going to come? When is my wife going to come? And because of this battle, you end up just saying, okay, the next available person that comes. Oh yeah, now let's go and settle down and get married and years later you start regretting why did I take the decision to marry someone I never really knew these are battles that 
chase the human man. These are battles that fight people on a daily basis. And at the end of the day, most times we lose these battles. But the truth is we are not meant to lose these battles. We are meant to succeed in this battle. We are meant to, to overcome these battles. We are meant to come out victorious. Because the truth is, there are always going to be battles. Every day that passes, every time you are at the edge of making a decision, there are battles that you are fighting. Should my children go to this school or should they go to this other school? It's a battle. Oh, should I eat this kind of food? Is this kind of food good for my health? It's a battle. Should I take a decision to relocate out of the country or go to this country or go to this state is a battle every single thought in your mind comes in form of a battle but truth is the best way to win this battle is first and foremost take a deep breath take that deep breath and tell yourself though it may seem like a battle but i'm going to take it one piece at a time I'm going to take it just like a puzzle. I'm going to take it one piece at a time. I'm not going to pressure myself. I'm not going to push myself so hard and end up making the wrong decision. I'm going to tell myself, well, yes, I know I'm in a in a circle right now it's like i'm battling with my mind over the fact that my best friends all my best friends they are all married and now i'm still single and i'm telling myself why are people telling me oh i'm still single i need to get married the pressure is high in your office everybody's looking at you why are you the only single guy still around at your age you are 40 ah, ah, what's your problem they are saying oh lady you are 30 you are 31 you're 35 you're 25 no man is coming for you what's your problem first and foremost take a deep breath and tell yourself i'm not going to be pressured it's a battle and i'll stand to win this battle when you have taken that deep breath the next thing you should do is to sit down and ask yourself what do i really want out of life what do i want what kind of job if it's a work pressure ask yourself what kind of job do i really want that will give me peace of mind if it's about marriage, ask yourself, why am I not married in the first place? It's because I was aiming for something good. So if I'm aiming for something good, I'm not going to allow that pressure get to me. So I stand my ground and I say, yes, I will wait for the right person to come my way. Why making myself the right person? If it's all about, oh, people giving you a lot of stress, oh, somebody hurting you, of course, oh, people are always going to hurt you. So that one is, is no joke. Every day you go out, you are going to meet people that will hurt you on a daily basis. It's a normal thing. But you don't allow the pressure of life to lead you into making wrong decisions in your life. You tell yourself that it doesn't matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter the battle. Oh, my parents died when I was a young child. Fine, well, it's, it's painful, it's hurting. But then, what do you do? You move on. Suicide is not the answer to battles in the mind. Suicides are never the answer. Think of the loved ones you are leaving behind. What if all of them, oh, my loved one has killed themselves. Let me go and kill myself. Then we should have more and more people dying on a daily basis. Suicide is not the answer. Drinking is not the answer. Smoking is not the answer. The battles will still be there. Even when you are done with all of those things, they will still be there. Oh, you're broke. You've had a good life before and all of a sudden all the ships are down and now you're broke and you can't deal with it anymore. You feel like, oh, I can't make it anymore. I'm struggling. I've never been in this situation before. And you feel taking your life is the answer? It is never the answer. Trust me. There is a way to deal with everything. Some time ago, I heard about a man who wanted to kill himself because he didn't have food to eat. He said he's been battling and all that. And he used his last money to buy, was it banana and all that. And he climbed up the tree that he was going to hang himself. Though it was a joke though. And he climbed the tree and ate the banana and threw the pills down, hoping that he was going to hang himself. And when he looked down, he saw someone else picking those pills and eating them. The banana peel eating it and saying thank you lord for providing for me and this man said are you serious there's someone going through a difficult situation than myself and the person is still saying thank you lord that i'm alive trust me there are people going through worse things than you have ever thought of there are people going through terrible things that you can't even imagine but they've chosen to live they've chosen to deal with it 
perfectly. They've chosen to win their battles. You can also choose to win your battle today. That battle cannot overwhelm you. If you say it will not overwhelm you, that battle cannot swallow you up if you decide that it will not swallow you up. Take a deep breath. State out your decisions. State out your plans for your life, your goals for your life. Begin to revisit them. Look for those things that make you happy. Search for those things that gives you joy. And focus more on the joy part than the pain part. And trust me, those battles will melt away just like ice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to hear your comments on this topic. And don't forget to always subscribe if you're a first timer here and always like the video. Till next time when we meet again, I love you.